Hey, Reggie. Hey, Father well, Stoli. <laughs> welcome to St. Clair's. Thank you. Thanks for having me here. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, look, we have some folks with us out in yeah. computer land. Let's go ahead. Those are the uh, parishioners of St. Clair's. Welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, parishioners, I want to share with you a little initiative that we have going here at uh, St. Clair's for the past couple of months. And this is a good friend of mine from a former parish who has helped me to get this off the ground, mm -hmm. Reginald George. Mm -hmm. uh, Reggie uh, has been a volunteer in my former parish uh, in a number of different ways uh, and of great help to me. I always used to tell Reggie, you know, uh, so many people want to offer their services, to volunteer their services. Uh, and, you know, they'll come by after mm -hmm. Sunday Mass uh, when I'm greeting them outside the church and they'll mm -hmm. say, Father, you know, if I can be of assistance to you, you know, let me know. And mm -hmm. It's usually hard to take down a name and an address and a phone number yeah. after mass. So I say, okay, sure, that's great. And, and the next day, somebody from the parish calls and says, uh, you know, anybody can help me with this or help me with that. And I say, gee, it's too bad I didn't take that guy's or that gal's phone number yesterday, you know. Um, so I, I said to Reggie that if we could develop a core of, of volunteers who would be at the ready to help people in need, wouldn't that be wonderful? And Reggie, being much more uh, uh, good with a computer than I am, developed an app to do just that. Right, Reggie? We, yeah. We're calling it Community Help. Yes, it's called and, Community Help. Yep. And it, it puts together uh, the helper with the one who needs help. Yep. And not only that, it gives people a, a variety of helpers to choose from. Mm -hmm. uh, some might want to be able to pick up prescriptions at the drugstore. Others might want to walk a dog. Others might want to uh, shovel snow or rake leaves. Um, and it's a wonderful way to offer people the opportunity to be uh, charitable and, and of service hmm. to their brothers and sisters in the community. And by the way, that's what's important. Uh, this community of helpers and people needing help is a closed community. Yes. And those who volunteer to offer help, as well as those who seek help, are only those who have been accepted into the community and are, in fact, members of the parish. That's a, a safety valve, really. Uh, unfortunately, in this day and age, we can't be dealing with people that we don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've, we've planned that in. Uh, Reggie, tell us about the, about the Community Health app. So, sure. As uh, Father mentioned before, is this is an application used to connect a person who needs help within this close-knit community with a person who can offer help. It's quite similar to Uber or any dating net applications you see. So my, the whole purpose of this video is to walk you through, through the different steps of how to sign up, how to register, and how to uh, select the services you want to provide, and uh, how to request for a service, and how to uh, offer a service in your community. So I'll be sharing my screen with you and I'll be explaining it to you. Okay, so there's a way that we can walk these folks through this process. Uh, in the beginning, at least for me, because I'm not so tech savvy, it was a little bit intimidating, but after a while playing with it, uh, I, I learned how to use it. And uh, it's really not all that difficult. And you know, a lot, of, a lot of people who need help might not be able to use the application themselves, mm -hmm. but they might have children who could sign up for them and so forth, Yes, you know? So, um, so let's do that. Uh, Definitely, okay. for sure. Let's okay. walk them through this. Download the application from the Google Play Store or Apple Store. Click on Sign Up. Enter your name, email ID, phone number, the community you want to join, and describe why you want to join the community. Accept the terms and conditions and privacy policy. Click on request. The request will be sent to the administrator. It is up to the administrator to choose a member. Once the administrator chooses the member, a link will be sent to your email ID to set up your password. Set up your password. Use your email ID and newly set up password to log in. There is also a forgot password option to reset your password. This is the home page. There are three main pages. 
the notification page, the home page, and the profile page shown by the icons at the bottom toolbar in the respective order. Click on the profile page icon to view your profile. Click on the edit profile icon on the right topmost corner. You can upload a picture, edit your name and phone number. You can check or uncheck the services you want to provide to the community. A member of the community can both request a service or provide help to other members of the community. Go to the home page. The member who needs help should click on service request on the right bottom corner. The member can choose from a list of services. For example, Julie needs help with grocery. She chooses helping with grocery. Julie gives a description, pick up grocery from the local stop and shop. Choose a date. She has three time slots that she can choose from. She chooses from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. She can choose the any time option if she doesn't have any time constraints. Then clicks on OK. Mr. George is a member of the community. He sees the request for helping with grocery on the home page in the application. He is available to help with grocery. He clicks on offer help. He chooses the time window 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. He then clicks on proceed. A notification will be shared with the person who needs help with grocery. Julie, who requested for grocery pickup, can view the list of members who have accepted her request on the notification page. She can contact the individual by clicking on contact. The three contact options are email, phone, or text. Click on the star icon to view the services already completed by this member. To accept the member's offer to help, click on accept. Mr. George can see on his notification page that he has signed up for helping with grocery. He can reach out to the individual by clicking on the contact option. The three options are email, text, or phone. He can get information about the location of the individual and means of payment, be it check, cash, or direct deposit using Venmo, Zelle, etc. Once Mr. George completes the service, Julie has to acknowledge that the service has been completed. For this purpose, Julie has to go to her profile page and click on the requests icon. Then, go through the active requests and find the one completed by Mr. George. Click on provide feedback. Click on yes. Rate the service of Mr. George. Also, Provide feedback in words. Then click on Submit. These are the links to download the application and the link to the website.